From what type of stone was Mount Rushmore National Memorial carved? Granite The monument, in the Black Hills of southwestern South Dakota, depicts the 60-foot high. 18-meter high, faces of four United States presidents, George Washington, 1732-1799. Thomas Jefferson, 1743-1826, Abraham Lincoln, 1809-1865, and Theodore Roosevelt, 1858-1919. Sculptor Gutzon Borglum, 1867 to 1941, designed the monument, but died before the completion of the project. His son, Lincoln, finished it. From 1927 to 1941, 360 people, mostly construction workers, drillers, and miners carved the figures using dynamite. Is it ever too cold to snow? No matter how cold the air gets, it still contains some moisture and this can fall out of the air in the form of very small snow crystals. Very cold air is associated with no snow because these invasions of air from northerly latitudes are associated with clearing conditions behind cold fronts. Heavy snowfalls are associated with relatively mild air in advance of a warm front. The fact that snow piles up, year after year, in Arctic regions illustrates that it is never too cold to snow. How much of Earth's surface is covered with ice? About 10% of the world's land surface is glaciated, or permanently covered with ice. Approximately 5,712,800 square miles, 14,800,000 square kilometers, are covered by ice in the form of ice sheets, ice caps, or glaciers. An ice sheet is a body of ice that blankets an area of land, completely covering its mountains and valleys. Ice sheets have an area of over 19,000 square miles, 50,000 square kilometers, ice caps are smaller. Glaciers are larger masses of ice that flow, under the force of gravity. At a rate of between 10 and 1,000 feet, 3 to 300 meters, per year. Glaciers on steep slopes flow faster. What is the average size of a gene? The average size of a vertebrate gene is about 30,000 base pairs. Bacteria, because their sequences contain only coding material, have smaller genes of about 1,000 base pairs each. Human genes are in the 20,000 to 50,000 base pairs range. Although sizes greater than 100,000 have been suggested as well. What is the law of very large numbers?
formulated by Percy Diaconis, 1945, and Frederick Mosteller, 1916-2006, of Harvard University. This long understood law of statistics states that with a large enough sample, any outrageous thing is apt to happen. Therefore, seemingly amazing coincidences can actually be expected. If given sufficient time or a large enough pool of subjects. For example, when a New Jersey woman won the lottery twice in four months. The media publicized it as an incredible long shot of one in 17 trillion. However, when statisticians looked beyond this individual's chances and asked what were the odds of the same happening to any person buying a lottery ticket in the United States over a six-month period. The number dropped dramatically to 1 in 30, according to researchers. Coincidences arise often in statistical work, but some have hidden causes and therefore are not coincidences at all. Many are simply chance events reflecting the luck of the draw. Who coined the term homeostasis? Walter Bradford Cannon, 1871 to 1945, who elaborated on Claude Bernard's concept of the milieu interior. Interior environment, used the term homeostasis to describe the body's ability to maintain a relative constancy in its internal environment. Which parts of the brain are involved in higher order functions, such as learning and memory? Higher order functions, such as learning and memory, involve complex interactions among areas of the cerebral cortex and between the cortex and other areas of the brain. Information is processed both consciously and unconsciously. Since higher order functions are not part of the programmed wiring of the brain, the functions are subject to modification and adjustment over time. Where is RNA formed? All RNA is formed in the nucleus, eukaryotic cells, or in the nucleoid region, prokaryotic cells. The principal enzyme responsible for RNA synthesis is RNA polymerase. What were Lothar Meyer's contributions to the periodic table? Lothar Meyer, 1830-1895, a German chemist, prepared a periodic table that resembled closely Mendeleev's periodic table. He did not publish his periodic table until after Mendeleev's paper on the periodic table was published in 1869. It is believed his work was influential in causing some of the revisions Mendeleev made in the second version of his periodic table. Published in 1870. Specifically, Meyer focused on the periodicity of the physical properties of the elements. 
while Mendeleev's focus was the chemical consequences of the periodic law. How does exercise affect bone tissue? Bone adapts to changing stresses and forces. When muscles increase and become more powerful due to exercise. The corresponding bones also become thicker and stronger through stimulation of osteoblasts. Regular exercise, especially weight-bearing exercise, maintains normal bone structure. Bones that are not subjected to normal stresses, such as an injured leg immobilized in a cast, quickly degenerate. It is estimated that unstressed bones lose up to a third of their mass after a few weeks. The adaptability of bones allows them to rebuild just as quickly when regular. Normal weight-bearing activity is resumed. What are some common causes of poisoning? Poisoning is defined as the exposure to any substance in sufficient quantity to cause adverse health effects. Poisonings can be grouped into several different categories, including intentional, accidental, occupational, and environmental, social and iatrogenic. Accidental poisonings are the most common, with more than 90% occurring in children at home. Intentional poisonings are usually suicide-related. With carbon monoxide being one of the most frequently used agents. Toxic chemical releases in industrial accidents are an occupational and environmental hazard. How was MR? What causes formaldehyde contamination in homes? Formaldehyde contamination is related to the widespread construction use of wood. Products bonded with urea formaldehyde resins and products containing formaldehyde. Major formaldehyde sources include subflooring of particle board, wall paneling made from hardwood plywood or particle board, and cabinets and furniture made from particle board. Medium density fiberboard, hardwood plywood, or solid wood. Urea formaldehyde foam insulation, UFFI has received the most media notoriety and regulatory attention. Formaldehyde is also used in drapes, upholstery, carpeting, wallpaper adhesives, milk cartons, car bodies, household disinfectants, permanent press clothing, and paper towels. In particular, mobile homes seem to have higher formaldehyde levels than other houses. The release of formaldehyde into the air by these products, called outgassing, can develop poisoning symptoms in humans. The EPA classifies formaldehyde as a potential human carcinogen, cancer causing agent. What is cell culture? Cell culture is the cultivation of cells, 
outside the body, from a multicellular organism. This technique is very important to biotechnology processes because most research programs depend on the ability to grow cells outside the parent animal. Cells grown in culture usually require very special conditions, e. g. specific pH, temperature, nutrients, and growth factors. Cells can be grown in a variety of containers, ranging from a simple petri dish to large-scale cultures in roller bottles. Which are bottles that are rolled gently to keep culture medium flowing over the cells. What is mitosis and what are the stages of this process? Mitosis involves the replication of DNA and its separation into two new daughter cells which are genetically identical to the parent cell. While only four phases of mitosis are often listed, the entire process is actually composed of six phases. Interphase, involves extensive preparation for the division process prop haze, the condensation of chromosomes. The nuclear membrane disappears, formation of the spindle apparatus. Chromosomes attached to spindle fibers metaphase, chromosomes, attached by spindle fibers, a line along the midline of a cell anaphase. The entromere splits and chromatids move apart telophase, the nuclear membrane reforms around. Newly divided chromosome cytokinesis, the division of cytoplasm, cell membranes, and organelles occur. What are some of the accomplishments of female astronauts? First American woman in space, Sally K. Ride June 18, 1983, aboard Challenger STS-7. First American woman to walk in space, Catherine D. Sullivan October 11, 1984, aboard Challenger STS-41G. First woman to make three space flights, Shannon W. Lucid June 17, 1985, October 18, 1989, and August 2, 1991. First African American woman in space. May Carol Jemison September 12, 1992, aboard Endeavour. First American woman space shuttle pilot, Eileen M. Collins February 3, 1995, aboard Discovery. How can plastics be made biodegradable? Plastic does not rust or rot. This is an advantage in its usage. But when it comes to disposal of plastic the advantage turns into a liability. Degradable plastic has starch in it so that it can be attacked by starch-eating bacteria to eventually disintegrate the plastic into bits. Chemically degradable plastic can be broken up with a chemical solution that dissolves it. Used in surgery, biodegradable plastic stitches slowly dissolve in the body fluids. 
photodegradable plastic contains chemicals that disintegrate. Over a period of 1 to 3 years when exposed to light. One quarter of the plastic yolks used to package beverages are made from a plastic called e -colid, Which is photodegradable. Which mushrooms were considered sacred by the Aztecs? Mushrooms of the genera, Conocybe and Psilocybe. Both of which have hallucinogenic properties, were considered sacred by the Aztecs. These mushrooms are still used in religious ceremonies by the descendants of the Aztecs. Psilocybin, which is chemically related to lysenic acid diethylamide. LSD, is a component to both genera and is responsible for the trance-like state and colorful visions experienced by those who eat these mushrooms. Is Earth closer to the Sun in winter than in summer in the Northern Hemisphere? Yes. However, Earth's axis, the line around which the planet rotates, is tipped 23.5 degrees with respect to the plane of revolution around the Sun. When Earth is closest to the Sun, it's perihelion. About January 3rd, the Northern Hemisphere is tilted away from the Sun. This causes winter in the Northern Hemisphere while the Southern Hemisphere is having summer. When Earth is farthest from the Sun, it's aphelion, around July 4th. The situation is reversed, with the Northern Hemisphere tilted toward the Sun. At this time, it is summer in the Northern Hemisphere and winter in the Southern Hemisphere. Why is blood sticky? Blood is sticky because it is denser than water and about five times more viscous than water. Blood is viscous mainly due to the red blood cells. When the number of these cells increases, the blood becomes thicker and flows slower. Conversely, if the number of red blood cells decreases, blood thins and flows faster. How are fossils formed? Fossils are the remains of animals or plants that were preserved in rock before the beginning of recorded history. It is unusual for complete organisms to be preserved, fossils usually represent the hard parts of animals, such as bones or shells, and leaves, seeds, or woody parts of plants. Some fossils are simply the bones, teeth, or shells themselves which can be preserved for a relatively short period of time. How are tree rings used to date historical events?
The study of tree rings is known as dendrochronology. Every year, trees produce an annular ring composed of one wide, light ring and one narrow, dark ring. During spring and early summer, tree stem cells grow rapidly larger, thus producing the wide, light ring. In winter, growth is greatly reduced and cells are much smaller, producing the narrow, dark ring. In the coldest part of winter or the dry heat of summer, no cells are produced. Comparing pieces of dead trees of unknown age with the rings of living trees Allows scientists to establish the date when the fragment was part of a living tree. This technique has been used to date the ancient pueblos throughout the southwestern United States. A subfield of dendrochronology is dendroclimatology. Scientists study the tree rings of very old trees to determine climatic conditions of the past, the effects of droughts, pollution, Insect infestations, fires, volcanoes, and earthquakes are all visible in tree rings. Are tigers in danger of becoming extinct? Tigers are listed as endangered by the U. S. Fish and Wildlife Service and the World Conservation Union IUCN, and are included in the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora. They are found in isolated regions of India, Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan, Southeast Asia, Manchuria, China, Korea, Russia, and Indonesia. Four subspecies of tiger Balinese tiger, Panthera tigris balica, South China tiger. Panthera tigris amoyensis, Caspian tiger, Panthera tigris vergata, and Javan tiger. Panthera tigris sandiaca, have become extinct due to habitat loss, poaching, and overhunting. The Siberian tiger, also known as the Amur tiger, Panthera tigris altaica, is one subspecies that has made a comeback in recent years. Its total worldwide population had dropped to 20 or 30 individuals in 1940. But there are over 500 in the wild today. Since mid-1990s there has been an increase in the poaching of the Bengal tiger. Panthera tigris tigris, since the bones of this subspecies are a valuable commodity on the black market. Tiger bones are used in Chinese medicines. Current population estimates are 470,000 to 690,000 elephants throughout Africa. A newer concern is the reduction of their natural habitat. The human populations are expanding to areas of elephant habitat. New land areas, that were once elephant habitat areas, are now being used for agriculture. What is the difference between sleep and hibernate? Sleep and hibernate are power saving modes that place computers and associated monitors into a low power setting to conserve energy and potentially save $25 to $75 per PC per year in electricity bills.
In sleep mode, all open documents and windows are saved. In memory and the system uses a small amount of power. The computer quickly resumes full power operation when awakened from sleep mode. Sleep is an efficient mode when the computer will not be used for several hours or even overnight. During hibernation, all open documents and programs are saved to the hard disk and the computer shuts off. The hibernation option uses almost no power but it takes longer to wake up from hibernation than sleep. When the computer will not be used for several days, it is advisable for it to be shut down. What is the poison on arrows used by South American Indians to kill prey and enemies? The botanical poison used by the Akas and similar tribes in the South American jungles is curare. It is a sticky, black mixture with the appearance of licorice and is processed from either of two different vines. One is a liana, condodendron tomentosum, the other is a massive, tree-like vine, Strychanos quinensis. Does ocean water circulate? Ocean water is in a constant state of movement. Horizontal movements are called currents while vertical movements are called upwelling and downwelling. Wind, tidal motion and differences in density due to temperature or salinity are the main causes of ocean circulation. Temperature differentials arise from the equatorial water being warmer than water in the polar regions. In the northern hemisphere the currents circulate in a clockwise direction while in the southern hemisphere the currents circulate in a counterclockwise direction. In the equatorial regions the currents move in opposite directions from left to right in the north and from right to left in the south. Currents moving north and south from equatorial regions carry warm water while those in polar regions carry cold water. What is aquaregia? Aquaregia, also known as nitrohydrochloric acid, is a mixture of one part concentrated nitric acid and three parts concentrated hydrochloric acid. The chemical reaction between the acids makes it possible to dissolve all metals except silver. The reaction of metals with nitrohydrochloric acid typically involves oxidation of the metals to a metallic ion and the reduction of the nitric acid to nitric oxide. The term comes from Latin and means royal water. It was named by the alchemists for its ability to dissolve gold and platinum, which were called the noble metals. Who invented calculus? The German mathematician Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz 1646 to 1716 
published the first paper on calculus in 1684. Most historians agree that Isaac Newton invented calculus eight to ten years earlier. But he was typically very late in publishing his works. The invention of calculus marked the beginning of higher mathematics. It provided scientists and mathematicians with a tool to solve problems that had been too complicated to attempt previously. What is Doppler radar? Doppler radar measures frequency differences between signals bouncing off objects moving away from or toward it. By measuring the difference between the transmitted and received frequencies, Doppler radar calculates the speed of the air in which the rain, snow, ice crystals, and even insects are moving. It can then be used to predict speed and direction of wind and amount of precipitation associated with a storm. The National Weather Service has installed a series of NEXRAD. Next Generation Radar, Doppler radar systems throughout the country. They are especially helpful in measuring the speed of tornadoes and other violent thunderstorms. What materials are the best and worst conductors of electricity? Electrical conductivity is the ability of a material to transmit current or the movement of charged particles, most often protons. Materials that carry the flow of electrical current are called conductors. Metals, such as silver and aluminum, are some of the best conductors of electricity. Other good conductors of electricity are copper and gold. Materials that do not permit the flow of electrical current are called non-conductors or insulators. Wood, paper, and most plastics are examples of insulators. Resistance is defined as the extent to which a material prevents the flow of electricity. Materials with a low resistance have a high conductivity. While those with a high resistance have a low conductivity. German physicist George Simon Ohm, 1789-1854 Was the first to describe the laws of electrical conductivity and resistance. How large is the International Space Station? When the ISS is completed, it will weigh 925,000 pounds, 419,600 kilograms. It will measure 361 feet. 110.03 meters from end to end or the equivalent of a football field, including the end zones. There will be more than 33,000 cubic feet, 935 cubic meters, of habitable space. The amount of habitable space will be almost equal to the room inside one and a half Boeing 747 jetliners. What is bioinformatics?
Bioinformatics is the field of science in which biology, computer science, and information technology merge into a single discipline. The ultimate goal of the field is to enable the discovery of new biological insights as well. As to create a global perspective from which unifying principles in biology can be discerned. There are three important sub-disciplines within bioinformatics. 1. The development of new algorithms and statistics with which to assess relationships among members of the large data sets. 2. The analysis and interpretation of various types of data including nucleotide and amino acid sequences. Protein domains, and protein structures, and 3. The development and implementation. Of tools that enable efficient access and management of different types of information. What are stem cells and what are some potential uses of such cells? Stem cells are undifferentiated cells meaning that they do not have a specific function that are capable under certain conditions, of producing cells that can become a specific type of tissue. Stem cells could be used to grow new hearts that could be transplanted without fear of rejection. They could be used to renew the function of injured structures like the spinal cord. They could be used as cell models for drug testing, thereby increasing the speed for finding cures. The potential benefits of stem cells have made the laboratory studies and research investigating these cells very exciting, yet controversial. How much of Earth's surface is permanently frozen? About one-fifth of Earth's land is permafrost, or ground that is permanently frozen. This classification is based entirely on temperature and disregards the composition of the land. It can include bedrock, sod, ice, sand, gravel, or any other type of material in which the temperature has been below freezing for over two years. Nearly all permafrost is thousands of years old. Permafrost is found in Canada, Russia, northern China, most of Greenland and Alaska, and Antarctica. What is the most frequently cited scientific journal article? The most frequently cited scientific article is protein measurement with the fallen phenol reagent by Oliver Howe Lowry. 1910-1996, and co-workers, published in 1951 in the Journal of Biological Chemistry. Volume 193, Issue 1, pages 265-275. As of 2010, this article had been cited 292,968 times since it first appeared. How did the dodo become extinct? The dodo became extinct around 1,800. Thousands were slaughtered for meat, but pigs and monkeys. 
which destroyed dodo eggs, were probably most responsible for the dodo's extinction. Dodos were native to the Mascarene Islands in the central Indian Ocean. They became extinct on Mauritia soon after 1680 and on. Reunion about 1750. They remained on Rodriguez until 1800. What was the first successful video arcade game? Pong, a simple electronic version of a tennis game, was the first successful video arcade game. Although it was first marketed in 1972, Pong was actually invented 14 years earlier in 1958 by William Higginbotham. 1910-1994, who, at the time, headed instrumentation design at Brookhaven National Laboratory. Invented to amuse visitors during the laboratory. The game was so popular that visitors would stand in line for hours to play it. Higginbotham dismantled the system two years later, and, considering it a trifle, did not patent it. In 1972, Atari released Pong, an arcade version of Higginbotham's game. And Magnavox released Odyssey, a version that could be played on home televisions. How much electricity does a typical American home use? In 2008, the average monthly residential electricity consumption was 920 kilowatt hours. More than half of the residential electricity consumption is for household appliances. How did the quark get its name? This theoretical particle, considered to be the fundamental unit of matter, was named by Murray Gelman. 1929, an American theoretical physicist who was awarded the 1969 Nobel Prize in Physics. Its name was initially a playful tag that Gelman invented, sounding something like quirk. Later, Gelman came across the line three quirks for master marks in James Joyce's. 1882-1941, Finnegan's Wake, and the tag became known as a quirk. There are six kinds or flavors, up, down, strange, charm, bottom, and top of quarks, and each flavor has three varieties or colors, red, blue, and green. All 18 types have different electric charges, a basic characteristic of all elementary particles. Three quarks form a proton, having one unit of positive electric charge or a neutron, zero charge, and two quarks, a quark and an antiquark, form a meson. Like all known particles, a quark has its antimatter opposite. Known as an antiquark, having the same mass but opposite charge. What is a monkey ball tree? The Osage orange tree, Maclura pomifer, 
produces large, green, orange-like fruits. The fruit is roughly spherical, 3.5 to 5 inches. 8.8 to 12.7 centimeters in diameter and have a coarse pebbly surface what is polymerase chain reaction polymerase chain reaction or PCR is a laboratory technique that amplifies or copies any piece of DNA very quickly without using cells. The DNA is incubated in a test tube with a special kind of DNA polymerase, a supply of nucleotides, and short pieces of synthetic single strand DNA that serve a primers for DNA synthesis. With automation, PCR can make billions of copies of a particular segment of DNA in a few hours. Each cycle of the PCR procedure takes only about 5 minutes. At the end of the cycle, the DNA segment even one with hundreds of base pairs has been doubled. A PCR machine repeats the cycle over and over. PCR is much faster than the days it takes to clone a piece of DNA by making a recombinant plasmid and letting it replicate within bacteria. PCR was developed by the biochemist Carey Mullis, 1944. In 1983 while working for Cetus Corporation, a California biotechnology firm, in 1993, Mullis won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for developing PCR. Is it possible to buy green electronics? Electronic manufacturers are designing products that are more environmentally friendly. Consumers should look for products that contain fewer toxic constituents use recycled. Materials in the new product are designed for easy upgrading and disassembly are Energy efficient use minimal packaging have leasing or take back options for reuse. Or recycling meet performance criteria that show they are environmentally preferable. Who was the first space tourist? The first space tourist was Dennis Tito an American businessman who paid an estimated $20 million to travel to space with the Russian crew to spend time on the International Space Station. He departed aboard the Russian Soyuz spacecraft on April 28, 2001 and returned to Earth on May 6, 2001. How are hazardous waste materials classified? There are four types of hazardous waste materials corrosive, ignitable, reactive, and toxic. Corrosive materials can wear away or destroy a substance. Most acids are corrosive and can destroy metal, burn skin, and give off vapors that burn the eyes. Ignitable materials can burst into flames easily. These materials pose a fire hazard and can irritate the skin, eyes, and lungs. 
gasoline, paint, and furniture polish are ignitable. Reactive materials can explode or create poisonous gas when combined with other chemicals. Combining chlorine bleach and ammonia, for example, creates a poisonous gas. Toxic materials or substances can poison humans and other life. They can cause illness or death if swallowed or absorbed through the skin. Pesticides and household cleaning agents are toxic. Besides the Kulinan diamonds, what are the largest precious stones? The largest ruby is a 8,500 carat stone that is 5.5 inches, 14 centimeters, tall, carved to resemble the Liberty Bell. The largest star ruby is the 6,465 carat eminent star from India that has a six line star. The largest cut emerald was found in Carniba, Brazil in August 1974. It is 86,136 carats. A 2,302 carat sapphire from Anarchy, Queensland, Australia. Was carved into a 1,318 carat head of Abraham Lincoln, making it the largest carved sapphire. The Lone Star, at 9,719.5 carats, is the largest star sapphire. The largest natural pearl is the Pearl of Lao Tzu, also called the Pearl of Allah. Found in May 1934 in the shell of a giant clam at Palawan. Philippines, the pearl weighs 14 pounds, 1 ounce, 6.4 kilograms. How is a heating degree day defined? Early in the 21st century engineers developed the concept of heating degree days as a useful index of heating fuel requirements. They found that when the daily mean temperature is lower than 65 degrees Fahrenheit, 18 degrees Celsius, most buildings require heat to maintain a 70 degrees Fahrenheit 21 degrees Celsius temperature. Each degree of mean temperature below 65 degrees Fahrenheit 18 degrees Celsius is counted as one heating degree day. For every additional heating degree day, more fuel is needed to maintain a 70 degrees Fahrenheit 21 degrees Celsius indoor temperature. For example, a day with a mean temperature of 35 degrees Fahrenheit 1.5 degrees Celsius would be rated as 30 heating degree days and would require twice as much fuel as a day with a mean temperature of 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees Celsius, 15 heating degree days. The heating degree concept has become a valuable tool for fuel companies. For evaluation of fuel use rates and efficient scheduling of deliveries. Detailed daily, monthly, and seasonal totals are routinely computed for the stations of the National Weather Service. What were the two main aims of alchemy? The main aim of alchemy, 
the early study of chemical reactions. Was the transmutation, or transformation, of common elements into gold? Needless to say, all attempts to change a substance into gold were unsuccessful. A second aim of alchemy was to discover an elixir or universal remedy that would promote everlasting life. Again, this pursuit was unsuccessful. Did dinosaurs and humans ever coexist? No. Dinosaurs first appeared in the Triassic period, about 220 million years ago. And disappeared at the end of the Cretaceous period, about 65 million years ago. Modern humans, Homo sapiens, appeared only about 25,000 years ago. Movies that show humans and dinosaurs existing together are only Hollywood fantasies. Which two special senses are closely related? The special senses of smell and taste are very closely related, both structurally and functionally. Experimental evidence shows that taste is partially dependent on the sense of smell. Most subjects are unable to distinguish between an onion and an apple on a blind taste test when their sense of smell is blocked. This also explains why food is tasteless when you have a cold because the olfactory receptor cells are covered with a thick mucus blocking the sense of smell. What does the symbol H202 stand for? It is hydrogen peroxide, a syrupy liquid compound used as a strong bleaching, oxidizing, and disinfecting agent. It is usually made either in anthrohydroquinone autoxidation processes or electrolytically. The primary use of hydrogen peroxide is in bleaching wood pulp. A more familiar use is as a 3% solution as an antiseptic and germicide. Undiluted, it can cause burns to human skin and mucous membranes. Is a fire and explosion risk, and can be highly toxic. What are some practical applications of superconductivity? A variety of uses have been proposed for superconductivity in fields as diverse as electronics, transportation, and power. Research continues to develop more powerful more efficient electric motors and devices that measure extremely small magnetic fields for medical diagnosis. The field of electric power transmission has much to gain by developing superconducting materials since 15% of the electricity generated must be used to overcome the resistance of traditional copper wire. More powerful electromagnets will be utilized to build high-speed magnetically levitated trains, known as maglovs.
which countries have the highest reserves of natural gas? Worldwide reserves of natural gas are estimated at 6,254 trillion cubic feet with 41% of the total located in the Middle East and 32% of the total located in Europe and the former U. SSR When was the first U? S satellite launched. Explorer 1, launched January 31, 1958, by the U. S Army, was the first United States satellite launched into orbit. This 31-pound, 14.06-kilogram, satellite carried instrumentation that led to the discovery of Earth's radiation belts, which would be named after University of Iowa scientist James A. Van Allen. It followed. Four months after the launching of the world's first satellite, the Soviet Union's Sputnik 1. On October. 3, 1957, the Soviet Union placed the large 184-pound, 83.5-kilogram, satellite into low Earth orbit. It carried instrumentation to study the density and temperature of the upper atmosphere. And its launch was the event that opened the space age. How thick is the ice that covers Antarctica? The average depth of the ice that covers Antarctica is 6,600 feet, 2,000 meters, or more than a mile thick. In some areas, the ice is as thick as 2 miles, 3 kilometers. Nearly 90% of the world's ice is found in Antarctica. Who showed that plant cells were totipotent? In 1958 Frederick Campion Stewart 1904-1993, a botanist at Cornell University. Successfully regenerated an entire carrot plant from a tiny piece of phloem. Small pieces of tissue from carrots were grown in a nutrient broth. Cells that broke free from the fragments dedifferentiated meaning that they reverted to unspecialized cells. However, as these unspecialized cells grew, they divided and redifferentiated back into specialized cell types. Eventually, cell division and redifferentiation produced entire new plants. Each unspecialized cell from the nutrient broth expressed its genetic potential to make all the other cell types in a plant. What is E. cabana? E. cabana is the Japanese expression for the arrangement of living material in water. It is the ancient Japanese art of flower arrangement. Ikebana follows certain ancient rules that aim at achieving perfect harmony, beauty, and balance. 
Some describe Ikebana as sculpture with flowers. In Japan it has been practiced for 1,400 years. Buddhist monks in the 6th century practiced the art using pebbles, rock, and wood with plants and flowers. In Japan Ikebana was evolved and practiced exclusively by men priests first, then warriors and noblemen. Today, of course, Ikebana is practiced by millions of women as well as men. Although the great flower schools in Japan are mostly headed by men. What are the three main groups of rocks? Rocks can be conveniently placed into one of three groups igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Igneous rocks, such as granite, pegmatite, rhyolite, obsidian, gabbro, and basalt, are formed by the solidification of molten magma that emerges through Earth's crust via volcanic activity. The nature and properties of the crystals vary greatly depending in part on the composition of the original magma and partly on the conditions under which the magma solidified. There are thousands of different igneous rock types. For example, granite is formed by slow cooling of molten material within the earth. It has large crystals of quartz, feldspars, and mica. Sedimentary rocks, such as breccia, sandstone, shale, limestone, chert, and coals, are produced by the accumulation of sediments. These are fine rock particles or fragments, skeletons of microscopic organisms, or minerals leached from rocks that have accumulated from weathering. These sediments are then redeposited underwater and later compressed in layers over time. The most common sedimentary rock is sandstone, which is predominantly quartz crystals. Metamorphic rocks, such as marble, slate, schist, gneiss, quartzite, and hornsful, are formed by the alteration of igneous and sedimentary rocks through heat and slash or pressure. One example of these physical and chemical changes is the formation of marble from thermal changes in limestone. How many feet are on each side of an acre that is square? An acre that is square in shape has about 208.7 feet, 64 meters, on each side. Which scientists made significant discoveries toward the understanding of photosynthesis? The ancient Greeks and Romans believed that plants derived their food from the soil. The earliest experiment to test this hypothesis was performed by the Belgian scientist Jean-Baptiste van Helmont. 1577-1644, who grew a willow tree in a container of soil and fed it only water. At the end of five years, the weight of the willow tree had increased by 164 pounds. 74.4 kilograms, while the weight of the soil had decreased by 2 ounces, 57 grams. 
Van Helmont concluded the plant had received all its nourishment from the water and none from the soil. Joseph Priestley, 1733-1804, demonstrated that air was restored by plants. In 1771, Priestley conducted an experiment in which he placed a lighted candle in a glass container and allowed it to burn until extinguished by lack of oxygen. He then put a plant into the same chamber and allowed it to grow for a month. Repeating the candle experiment a month later, he found that the candle would now burn. Priestley's experiments showed that plants release oxygen. O2, and take in carbon dioxide, CO2, produced by combustion. The Dutch physician Jan Ingenhuis, 1730-1799, confirmed Priestley's ideas. Emphasizing that air is restored only by green plants in the presence of sunlight. Evidence of photosynthesis's two-stage process was first presented by F. F. Blackman. 1866 to 1947, in 1905. Blackman had identified that both a light-dependent stage and a light-independent stage occur. During photosynthesis. In 1930 C. B. Van Neel, 1923 to 1977, became the first person to propose that water rather than carbon dioxide was the source of the oxygen that resulted from photosynthesis in 1937 robert hill 1899 to 1991 discovered that chloroplasts are capable of producing oxygen in the absence of carbon dioxide only when the chloroplasts are illuminated and provided with an artificial electron acceptor. What are truffles? Truffles, a delight of gourmets, are arguably the most prized edible fungi found mainly in Western Europe. They grow near the roots of trees, particularly oak, but also chestnut, hazel, and beech, in open woodlands. Unlike typical mushrooms, truffles develop 3 to 12 inches. 7.6 to 30.5 centimeters, underground making them difficult to find. Truffle hunters use specially trained dogs and pigs to find the flavorful morsels. Both animals have a keen sense of smell and are attracted by the strong, nut-like aroma of truffles. In fact, trained pigs are able to pick up the scent of truffle from 20 feet, 6.1 meters, away. After catching a whiff of a truffle scent, the animals rush to the origin of the aroma and quickly root out the precious prize. Once the truffle is found, the truffle hunter, referred to in French as trufficulteur, carefully scrapes back the earth to reveal the fungus. Truffles should not be touched by human skin, as doing so can cause the fungus to rot. Which is the only bone that does not touch another bone? The hyoid bone is the only bone that does not touch another bone. Located above the larynx, it supports the tongue and provides attachment. Sites for the muscles of the neck and pharynx used in speaking and swallowing.
the hyoid is carefully examined when there is a suspicion of strangulation. Since it is often fractured from such trauma. What are the highest and lowest points on Earth? The highest point on land is the top of MT. Everest, in the Himalayas on the Nepal-Tibet border, at 29,035 feet 8,850 meters, above sea level. This measurement, taken using satellite-based technology, includes the snow and ice layers which are estimated at between 30 feet, 9 meters, to 60 feet, 18 meters. The National Geographic Society accepted this height in November 1999. The U.S. National Imagery and Mapping Agency has also accepted 29,035 feet, 8,850 meters, as the official height. There is hope that ground penetrating radar will one day be used to determine the snowpack depth. The height established by the Surveyor General of India in 1954 and accepted by the National Geographic Society was 29,028 feet. 8,845 meters, plus or minus 10 feet, 3 meters, because of snow. Earlier measurements indicated the height of MT. Everest was 29,002 feet, 8,840 meters. Satellite measurements taken in 1987 indicated that MT. Everest is 29,864 feet, 9,102 meters, high. But this measurement was not adopted by the National Geographic Society. The lowest point on land is the Dead Sea between Israel and Jordan, which is 1,312 feet, 399 meters, below sea level. The lowest point on Earth's surface is thought to be in the Mariana Trench in the western Pacific Ocean, extending from southeast of Guam to northwest of the Mariana Islands. It has been measured as 36,198 feet, 11,034 meters, below sea level. What is a tektite? Tektites are silica-rich glass objects, rocks, found scattered in selected regions of Earth's surface. They are generally black, oblong, teardrop, or dumbbell-shaped, and several centimeters in length. They are formed from molten rock resulting when a meteorite, asteroid, or comet fragment impacts Earth's surface. The molten rock is hurled high into the atmosphere, where it rapidly cools into its unique shape and physical characteristics. Their mode of formation is considered indisputable evidence of such impacts. Tektites range from 0.7 to 35 million years in age. What is pharmacognosy? It is the science of natural drugs and their physical, botanical, and chemical properties. Natural products derived from plant, 
vegetable, animal, and mineral sources have been a part of medical practice for thousands of years. Today about 25% of all prescriptions dispensed in pharmacies contain active ingredients that are extracted from higher plants, and many more are found in over-the-counter products. What are the causes of epilepsy? Epilepsy is a brain disorder in which clusters of neurons in the brain sometimes signal abnormally. Epilepsy may develop because of an abnormality in brain wiring. An imbalance of neurotransmitters, or some combination of these factors. During an epileptic seizure, neurons may fire as many as 500 times a second. Much faster than the normal rate of about 80 times a second. When the normal pattern of neuronal activity becomes disturbed, strange sensations, emotions and behavior, convulsions, muscle spasms, and loss of consciousness may be experienced. When was the first weather satellite launched? The first weather satellite, the television and infrared observation satellite, Tyros I, was launched by NASA on April 1, 1960. Although the images were not of the same resolution as we have now, they were able to reveal the organization and structure of clouds and storms. One of its accomplishments was to see a previously undetected tropical storm near Australia. The information was conveyed to the people so they could prepare for the approaching storm. It operated for 77 days until mid-June 1960 when an electrical fire caused it to cease operating. What is the meaning of the medical abbreviation NYD? Not yet diagnosed. Who made the first organic compound to be synthesized from inorganic ingredients? In 1828, Friedrich Wohler, 1800-1882, synthesized urea from ammonia and cyanic acid. This synthesis dealt a death blow to the vital force theory, which held that definite and fundamental differences existed between organic and inorganic compounds. The Swedish chemist Johns Jacob Berzelius, 1779 to 1848 had proposed that the two classes of compounds were produced from their elements by entirely different laws organic compounds were produced under the influence of a vital force and so were incapable of being prepared artificially this distinction ended with Wohler's synthesis. <laughs>